Hey there, I'm gonna be showing you how to install any Half-Life 1 mod. This video will include chapters, so just jump to whatever you need. And as should go without saying, you will need the respective games on Steam. This video is not guaranteed to work with cracked versions of the games, neither do I endorse pirating them. Another thing that should go without saying is that you should always read mod descriptions for instructions. Some mods have unique install processes, though realistically, most should be covered by this video. For any issues not covered in this video, check the description first. I will include any future advice in there. If you can find your issue there, feel free to ask me in the comments and I will do my best to respond to most. And I encourage everyone to help other commenters as well. Installing a Half-Life 1 mod Installing a Half-Life 1 mod is the simplest of all. When you're on the ModDB page of the mod, in this case, Sweet Half-Life, click on Files. Now, scroll down to find the main mod. In most cases, it will simply be the mod title with a version number at the back. If there's multiple, pick whatever number is the highest. In this case, it's just Sweet Half-Life 1.0. After the download, identify the main folder. In the case of this mod, opening the downloaded zip, there's a folder called SHL in there. You can find out that this is the main folder by it including the .wart files. So now that we have found our main folder, go on Steam, find Half-Life 1, which is just called Half-Life, right-click, Properties. Now, go to Installed Files and click Browse. This will open the Half-Life 1 game folder. Now you drag the main folder, in this case SHL, and put it right into the Half-Life directory folder. Afterwards, you simply restart Steam and it will appear in your library. An important note, most Half-Life 1 mods released before the anniversary edition of Half-Life 1 released. This breaks a lot of mods. To revert to the pre-anniversary edition, again right-click on Half-Life, Properties, click on Betas, and from this drop-down menu select Steam Legacy Pre-25th Anniversary Build. Half-Life will download a patch following this. This usually is very quick. It doesn't matter if you have already installed the mod. It will remain in your library afterwards. I generally recommend doing this for Half-Life 1 mods released before 2024. In a lot of cases, mods will not work unless you install a patch, which is what we'll get to next. Installing a Half-Life 1 mods patch, update or translation. Many old Half-Life 1 mods come with patches, updates or translations on a download page. Oftentimes, these are required to run the mod at all. Other times, these simply do bug fixing. Very important note, there is no easy way to tell what makes a good patch and what makes a bad patch, as these are often made by random members of the community. The comments can be a good indicator. For me personally, I generally go with whatever released latest and has patch in the name. In the case of Sweet Half-Life, this is the Sweet Half-Life Fan Patch Complete that released in 2015. To install these, identify the main folder in the downloaded zip. If you don't know what that means, please revert to the previous chapter. In the case of a patch, update or translation, it's usually even easier, since the folder itself will have a name identical to the original mod. In most cases, that is. If you can't find the main folder, skip forward to the Half-Life 1 I can find the main folder chapter. Now, go to Steam, find Half-Life 1, right-click, Properties, now go to Installed Files and click Browse. Now you drag the main folder of the patch right into the Half-Life 1 folder. Since you've already downloaded the main mod, this will prompt up a menu to replace files. Accept the file replacement. You have now installed the patch. Installing a translation or update will be the exact same process in 99% of times. If not, there will most likely be a guide on how to do it included on the download page. I can find the main folder. In rare cases, the zip itself will be the main folder that includes the .wat files. In these cases, you will want to right-click on the zip you downloaded, go to your WinRAR or 7-zip options and click on Extract to Folder Name. You can identify this option by the slash at the back. This will create a new folder, which will now be your main folder, which you can identify by it including the .wat files. If you're installing a patch, make sure to rename this folder to the exact same name as the main mods file. For this example, that would be SHL. If it's the mod itself you're downloading, you can name it whatever you want. I recommend doing something similar to the mod's actual title though. From here on out, you can go back to the point in the video where you left off at. Mod crash and bug fixes. Most Half-Life 1 mods released before the anniversary edition came out. This breaks a lot of mods. To revert to the pre-anniversary edition, again right-click on Half-Life, Properties, click on Betas, and from this drop-down menu select Steam Legacy Pre-25th Anniversary Build. Half-Life will download a patch following this. This usually is very quick. It doesn't matter if you have already installed the mod. It will remain in your library afterwards. I generally recommend doing this for Half-Life 1 mods released before 2024. If that doesn't work, I recommend trying to verify the game files of Half-Life 1. You do this by right-clicking, Properties, Installed Files and clicking on Verify Integrity of Game Files. Otherwise, you may need to install a patch for your mod. To learn how to do this, revert to the Installing a Half-Life 1 mods patch chapter. If a crash is happening for any other reason, please check the description first. 
And if you can't find an answer there, then leave a comment. I will try to help you out. And I encourage others to help as well. Pass on the knowledge, you know what I mean? Alternatively, you can also join the Discord and ask for help there. Link is in the description. If you want to learn how to install Half-Life 2 mods, the video is linked on screen right now. And otherwise, thank you for watching.